we may soon have one more thing to bring along when we leave our homes. Minister in charge of the Smart Nation Initiative, Vivian Balakrishnan, said yesterday that a first batch of the Trace Together token will be rolled out later this month, with priority given to those who don't have mobile phones. The concerns over privacy and policing were also addressed in the press conference held by the Multi-Ministry Task Force last night. The app and the device plus safe entry combined are meant to provide us with information in a timely manner so that we can do speedy and fast and effective contact tracing. It's not meant as a way to detect offences and breaches of rules. Yeah, I think that's a very important clarification. Trace together app, trace together running on a device, and the data generated is purely for contact tracing, period. Dr. Balakrishnan also said there is no GPS chip in the token. So what exactly does it do to help with contact tracing? Let's pose this question to the Straits Times tech editor, Irene Thumb. Hi, Irene. So the Trace Together token doesn't have a GPS chip. Dr. Balakrishnan said as well that it's not an electronic tag and it doesn't even have internet or mobile telephony connectivity. Could you then help us understand how it works? Hi, uh, Olivia. The, the token will function in similar ways as the Trace Together app. It works as a standalone device. It doesn't need another device to work. So it works on short range wireless Bluetooth signals emitting from the token to be exchanged with nearby devices, which could be another token or a Bluetooth enabled smartphone with the Trace Together app. The exchange uh, between these nearby devices will be locked in an encrypted form in these devices with data older than 25 days automatically erased. So it's Bluetooth handshakes between devices. The data logs stay in the phone or the token until the, until the user is confirmed to be a COVID-19 patient. And then the health ministry will ask for the token to extract the exchange logs for contact tracing. Smartphone users will be guided to remotely upload data logs in the Trace Together app to the Health Ministry central server. Mm. I mean, the token doesn't track a person's location. Now, this is repeatedly said by the COVID-19 task force. But do you think that's enough to allay fears over privacy? Well, um, the clarification must be made. And uh, what must be said has already been said. But there will still be pockets of people who will remain suspicious of Big, bro big, big Brother surveillance. One good way to allay fears is to have the hardware design and the software for the token to be open source. That means becoming transparent about the underlying code so people can examine what is collected. Right. Well, aside from privacy, what are other reasons that will lead people to not wear the token? Um, well, it uh, may not be a wearable, um, as they have earlier clarified. It could be a small device. Mm -hmm similar to the um, banking security tokens that we're familiar with that you put in your pocket on your and or in your bag right. perhaps people will resist the trace together token out of fear of losing the device i mean it's small enough to be misplaced right and what is the replacement cost of one uh, and do users have to pay for it will users be prosecuted for losing the device without reporting the loss these questions remain unanswered i think it's fear that you know, if they lose it, they, will, they may be prosecuted and uh, they may be asked to pay for the second device. I mean, these are questions that uh, have to be answered. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. good points uh, raised there, Irene. And, uh, you know, just uh, to compare it with uh, the Trace Together app, uh, do you think people will take more to it uh, with this uh, token? Um, well, in theory, the token is inclusive as you do not need uh, smartphones or the latest models of smartphones um, to participate in digital contact tracing and uh, it will include people like children and the elderly and uh, but fear of losing the device will be a huge obstacle or it could be just be a case of people simply not caring so I mean one yeah. or the other yeah in that case Irene is there a way that the government can make it a more attractive design or perhaps should they make the the token mandatory from the start? Um, well, I think you need to force people to use it before they will use it. I mean, if you look at mask wearing, right, uh, when they had a choice, when people had a choice, they don't wear it, they don't put it on. But when it becomes mandatory, you see everybody wearing it. 
So if you want to go out, you have to wear a mask. So I think uh, the same may need to apply to the use of um, trace together. Um, if not mandatory, I mean, another way to encourage uh, take up rate could be to gamify it. For example, I mean, some, some industry experts and tech veterans said that you could gamify it and uh, maybe um, uh, let people play a game or uh, win a contest or, 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 or do something where they can, there's a prize to obtain at the end of it and you'll see more people participate, just like Pokemon Go, right? So I don't know how that will work, but, but uh, that could be another way to do it. Mm, it does uh, remain to be seen uh, what's going to happen yeah, Irene. Well, thank you so much, Irene, for taking time to speak with us to explain to us how the uh, Trace Together token will work. Uh, we want to know how you feel as well about the Trace Together token, so leave your comments below.